Okay, good morning, students. Uh, today we will just revise the nervous system part. So, can anyone say what do you mean by nervous system? Yes, we have already completed this uh, chapter. Can anyone say? Huh? Can anyone say? What do you mean by nervous system? Hello? Huh? Class leader. What the class leader is doing? Oh, it's just okay. मेरे 11 बजे का भी फिर से क्लास है, 12 का भी क्लास है। आपने तो बोला था ना लंच के बाद। ठीक है, ठीक है। ओके, व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय नर्वस सिस्टम? स्पीक सुन। Okay, Prajwal, tell me what do you mean by nervous system? Yes, Prajwal, tell me. What does? What does? What do you mean by nervous system? Huh? Don't know. Bandrelin? 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 Oh no. Okay, anyone knows? Anyone? Hello, ma'am. Huh? Yes, say. Yes, Mette, you say. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me or not? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you forgot or what nervous system? Okay, nervous system. Nervous system means what? Nervous system means uh, they will detect. Okay, means they will find out. They will find out the changes which you have inside and outside your body. Okay, inside your body like what? Inside your body like uh, the, the system. 
okay the system which is uh, which is functioning day to day like for example digestive system in your digestive system what happens if if the food is not digested properly if uh, if you if you have if you had some spicy foods what happens your stomach will pain is not it so in that case uh, the inside of your body like uh, it will respond they will respond it so for that uh, they will detect it they will have uh, changes you have changes in it okay um, outside your body like what outside your body like uh, outside your body like what outside your body like uh, you will do something you will respond something okay and in this nervous system what happens in this nervous system you will find that uh, they will coordinate okay they will coordinate their behavior as well as they will transmit signal okay they will transmit uh, they will pass information they will pass signal to the, the different parts of your body areas okay so that they will function properly they will pass an information uh, to the different parts of your body okay is it clear see you people are not responding even even though i am asking you are you clear no response if i am asking you whether you know or so no response so how will i know that you all are attending the class or not will i give you your attendance in this manner ha huh? so in the nervous system you will find that uh, there are different parts okay the first is the central nervous system that is a cns and peripheral nervous system that is a pns so all these parts and in this uh, central nervous system what are the parts that consists it consists of brain okay it consists of brain and the spinal cord this is your spinal cord so the central nervous system the cns contains uh, consists of these two parts okay and in this peripheral nervous system what are the things this uh, it, it consists all the nerves okay, it contains or it does it consists all the nerves which are outside the brain in the spinal cord okay means which is outside the brain means all these nerves are the pns it is the peripheral nervous system and you will find that the nervous system has two main subdivisions the first one is a somatic okay somatic somatic uh, can be also known as the things which we can control that is voluntary okay somatic we know we can also say as voluntary and uh, we have the other one that is the autonomic autonomic or else you can say involuntary Okay, and this somatic voluntary. What uh, what is the thing in the somatic voluntary? In the somatic voluntary, you will find that uh, you can uh, which you can control. Okay, you can control like what you can control your yeah, physical activities which you are doing. Okay, walking, standing, anything, whatever you like, you can control. So that one is known as voluntary, or else somatic. and the next is autonomic or involuntary means which you can't control okay for for example your heart is beating you are breathing you are blinking all these things which you can't control so all these things are known as involuntary uh, actions okay is it clear uh, yes ma'am yes, ma Okay, so in the nervous system, what you will get, you will get some neurons. Okay, so this is a neuron. So this is a structure of neuron. And this neuron, uh, what does it do? Uh, it is also known as. It is also known as what? It is also known as nerve cell. Okay, so neurons are also known as nerve cell. And what do they do? They will send signal. They will send signal to the brain. Okay, they will send signal to the brain, and in these neurons, what will happen? Uh, what you will see, you will see that uh, it consists of a cell body. This is a cell body. 
this is a zero it consists of a cell body and it has one axon okay this is the axon it has one axon and it has many dendrites okay so these are the dendrites all this just like the branches no so all this is uh, dendrites okay so this is the axon and these are dendrites and this uh, neuron it is uh, this neuron it is referred to as nerve cell okay it is also known as a nerve cell this neuron okay next is axon uh, this axon they are just like a tail okay they are just like tail and what you will find uh, you will find in the axon that there are some fatty substance okay there are some you will find that uh, there are some fatty substance which is known as myelin sheet this one myelin sheet so this is the myelin sheet which you find in the axon and in this myelin what uh, what does it do you will find that uh, this myelin they will help the axon this is the axon so what will they do here they will help the axon okay they will help the axon uh, to conduct some electrical signal okay the impulse the nerve impulse so for that they uh, this myelin sheet helps in that okay and this neuron they have only x1 x1 as i have already said that one so this is the only main axon understand this axon they consist i mean they are just like a tail and they consist of myelin sheet fatty substance so this myelin sheet what does it do this myelin sheet they helps in conducting some electrical signal okay they helps in conducting uh, some electrical signal is it clear till here yes ma'am okay next is dendrites so these are the dendrites so these dendrites they are just like roots okay roots or else branch you can say so they are just like roots or else the branches and they come out from the cell body so this is a cell body they come out from there okay and these neurons you will find that uh, means in this you will find that they are the branches of dendrites and this uh, then rice what you will see they are just like antenna you can see uh, and this this then right they will receive and they will send signal okay from this uh, axon terminal signal you know, from this like uh, they will send signal okay which uh, you will find it in the next in the next new one okay so this is what is huh what is the meaning of antenna a n t e double n a e antenna do you know no antenna means they receive oh. signal do you know oh, yes. antenna ha ah, that one they are just like antenna means they will receive signal which is coming from the another neuron you remember no means they are connected each neurons are connected to each other so that they can pass information so that they can pass a signal so uh, there are many number okay, is it clear till here yes ma'am okay, so this is it i was saying no, about the they are connected to each other so this is so what is the function of neuron the function of neuron is that they send signal Okay, so this is uh, this is another neuron, and this is the axon terminals. Like they will send signal to the another neuron. Okay, hmm. which is known as what? Which is known as action potential. Okay, so which is known as action potential. They will send information. They will send like electric impulse used to be there. So um, they will uh, so that one is known as action potential. Okay, and what happens here? There is flow of ions. Okay, there is flow of ions in and out of the neutral membrane. Means in and out means what? It will be out of this one. In means this. And this, uh, this one will be out. 
it is electrical impulse and in means the, this thing will take in so that's why this one is in and out neural um, uh, membrane and this action action potential uh, they can go they can go uh, where it means in chemical also as well as in electrical synapse okay they can be in both ways either chemical or else electrical and this chemical synapse this is a chemical synapse so in this chemical synapse what happens they will affect other neurons through a gap between two neurons called a synapse means um, it occurs in between the two neurons means this gap no? it occurs in between this this is a neuron and this is an electrical synapse so electrical synapse what happens in this electrical synapse uh, they can they can only excite only excitation is occurring here okay in the electrical synapse only uh, elect uh, excitation thing is there and they occur they occur here in between this two neurons okay via gap means through this gap so this gap it occurs and this gap uh, is much smaller than a synapse means here it's a synapse no? so here what happens the gap is a bit uh, less lesser you can say compared to the chemical it is a bit lesser okay and what happens here and um, here ion channels are there means ions is to be uh, what to say means it is to be transmitted here okay and mostly positive electrical signal of this one not negative only positive is it clear ma'am so uh, you will find that there are three types of neurons types of neurons first is sensory motor and inter neurons so let's see so in the sensory neurons from the name itself you can just uh, know that the sensory neurons means what means you are able to sense something okay, like the taste the smell you can hear you can see you can feel around you so all these are known as sensory neurons the things you are able to feel the things which you are able to sense and next is motor neurons motor neurons means what means your physical activities which you are doing okay maybe involuntary which you can control or involuntary means which you can't control so that one is motor neurons and these neurons what will they do they will allow okay they will allow the brain and the spinal cord like uh, to communicate to each other such as what well, such as muscles then glands then organs so they will uh, they will send information to all these things so that they can work together voluntarily as well as involuntarily and uh, what you will find you will find that there are two types of motor neurons uh, that is the lower and the upper okay this is the upper and this is the lower okay what happens in the lower motor neurons in the lower motor neurons you will find that they carry signal okay this uh, lower motor neurons you will find that they will carry signal from the spinal cord okay from the spinal cord this is the muscle and skeletal muscle as i i have already explained yeah, about the muscle so you uh, i think you know it so this uh, lower motor neurons uh, they will send signal they will pass to the the spinal cord okay uh, to the mus smooth muscle and the skeletal muscle and in the upper this one upper motor neurons what happens they will uh, carry signals in between your brain and the spinal cord okay which means what um, upper uh, upper motor neurons mostly they deals with involuntary which you can't control and lower motor neurons basically it deals with voluntary which you can control okay is it clear yes ma'am
so this is it uh, i just said about it so lower motor neurons thoracic nervous system muscles like if you take this one you can control okay and upper upper ones are to be in control next is inter neurons so inter neurons is found in between your brain and the spinal cord okay and you will find that they are the most common type of neuron okay and you will find that they will pass information from sensory neurons to your inter neurons such as the motor neuron and the inter neuron or uh, this part is not that very much important and so this is the example of the inter neuron Okay, so this is the efferent neuron. This is the efferent. Like if you uh, if you touch something like uh, something hot, like it will have a reflex. Okay. So I hope brain you remember. This is the brain. Okay, it is the center of your thoughts. Whatever you think, it comes under this. Okay, for today I'll end here. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay.